Hey Capricorns, how y'all doing? Welcome, we're gonna be doing your month of May general reading here. So let's talk about your meditation, fascinating. So I saw the Capricorn Collective on a swing, like an actual swing, swinging back and forth. And I saw it go higher and higher and you were waiting to jump off of the swing and go woo and land. But there was a moment where you were like, ah, this isn't the time, this isn't the time. And I saw you climb up the swing and sit safely on top of it while the people you love were allowed to sit on the swing and release and go land and then another one swing and went and land over here. And I got this very distinct feeling around you putting others before yourself, okay? About you feeling the best <laughs> if and only if and when and only when the people that you love are safe and provided for and taken care of. Okay, it's like, you know what, I, I don't even feel, I can't swing and, and, and jump off of this swing and stick the landing because I'm too busy looking behind me because I, I, I can't feel good doing this until I know my people are taken care of. Then I saw you wandering into this land of like, I saw a bunch of giants, like actual giants, like these stone giants, right? And I saw the Capricorn Collective climbing on one of these stone giants and sitting on top and being moved. And I just got this, and then I saw the image of a bull, okay? Which is my symbol for strength and also monetary um, wealth and abundance. I saw these roots growing out of the bottom of your feet and connecting into the ground and just there was a strength and stillness is what I saw. Almost felt like you've been building up or accruing a lot of energy, whether it's through um, actual, you know, working or creative work or whatever have you, or thinking or planning ahead or whatever have you. But then you're being asked to just kind of like wait, wait, strength and stillness, and also really putting others, um, you know, needs. I don't want to say above yours. But it's like you're gonna feel better if you know everyone around you has their own needs met and is taken care of, which means you might be in a position where you're having to be extra strong for the people around you, but here's the thing. It doesn't feel like an imposition. It feels like what you were born to do. It's like, oh, I'm a Capricorn. Like, this is, this is like, I can do this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, don't have to, you know, ask me twice to, to be strong and be there for other people. And you know what I mean? And I even want to say the word, and, and I feel like this word has a, like a negative connotation but like caretaking in a way. I feel like you are being a caregiver both emotionally and physically for the people in your life. I feel like you're picking up some extra, you know, slack. And I don't mean slack in a negative way. It's just like others around you in whatever way, shape, or form this is are calling upon you to be there for them or they might not even call upon you. You may just feel it and not need to be asked. I just got shivers when I said that. I feel like for a lot of you, it's a case of you don't even have to ask. You're intuitive. It's like, I, I, I know. I know that you could use a little extra help here. I know that you could really benefit from me calling and checking in on you every night and just watching Golden Girls together over the phone. I don't know why that came up, but uh, who doesn't love the Golden Girls, right? Um, but humor and laughter and, and just being there for others, even if it's like, you know what, babe, I, I'm gonna make dinner you know, every night this week so that you can just not worry about it and just go over here and, and just do what you need to do because you're realizing that you can have a fabulous day, but if the people you love aren't having fabulous days, did you really have a fabulous day? And that speaks, that speaks volumes to your character, Capricorn, and I, I like how that's coming through. You know what I mean? Let's see what your animal is. So I love, you know, I love it when, you know, an earth sign gets an earth animal or an air sign gets an air animal. I love it when the elements line up because it's, it's, it's spirit's way of saying that you are in alignment with your own natural elemental energy. Remember when I saw those roots growing out of your feet, just feeling really grounded. Now this is fascinating too, so they're taking me back to the meditation. Remember when I saw you on the swing and going, can I jump now? Can I jump and stick the landing? But no, let me climb up the swing and hold it steady for those that I love beneath me. It's interesting because the horse is very much about astral travel, right? A spiritual journeying, uh, dreaming, meditation, and freedom. You know, this aspect of the horse is that, energetically speaking, this is, is that, you know, pin a horse in or, or a horse personality type or, right, this sort of energy. You try to pin them in and they will buck and buck and break down that fence and run, 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 right? But if you don't do that, if you just allow them all the freedom to roam, they're never going to go quite far. That's the horse personality type. 
right? It's like that holding sand in your hand. You can only retain it with a looser grip. And that is something so, just feels really pertinent for y'all, okay? Now also I wanna point out the braids here with the three braids, mind, body, spirit connection. It really feels like you are, you are calling upon your inner reserves of strength and stamina. And horses also represent family ties and um, perseverance and stability as well. You're, you're calling upon those inner reserves of strength and stamina to really be strong and be a support and be a backbone. If you think about it, horses, you know, carry people on their backs, right? Not by choice necessarily. We, we definitely impose that upon them, but that's not the point. The point is that the, you know, they literally carry people, you know, on their backs throughout history. And, and I'm clicking into this energy of you being the backbone for others during this time and the port and the storm and the safe space and that, and that um, constancy, right? This is a time of the weeble wobble and this way and that way and it's it's you know that's kind of the energy but you're coming across is is very different. I really like it for you. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay. Ten of Cups. Hello and goodbye. See, this is remember this is exactly what I was saying. Water energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, you know, this is exactly what I was saying with this, you know, somewhere over the rainbow indeed, where you know the Ten of Cups traditionally is complete emotional fulfillment and joy. But I want to point out the family unit here, right? Look at these two queens and their little babies. Like, like lo look at this beautiful, beautiful family, and look at this aspect of you know, really having a good day, if and only if, just for right now, not in like an unhealthy codependent way, hello and goodbye, but only if you know that the people around you are good. That's exactly what this is saying with this Ten of Cups, right? And don't children play on swing sets? There's this whole thing here, and I, and I do feel like you may be in a position again, whether this is literal or figurative, where you're in a position of that loving parent or that loving provider or that loving backbone. For the people around you. People are actually um, receiving emotional sustenance either through your energy presence or through you directly. Okay? But this is complete emotional happiness and fulfillment and I love the family unit um, you know as it's indicated here. It's really beautiful. Okay? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. You know, I'm drawn to the fact that this is like a cityscape and this looks like more of a rural home setup type deal. I feel like if you live in a major city, it's about creating the energy of being in the country because I'm back to this pen thing with the horse. And I feel like if you're in the rural, you know, area with not much around, then you are imbuing it with life and activity to where it more closely resembles the hub and bub and action of a inner city or a um, you know, more cosmopolitan city or, or somewhere that's more densely populated. Isn't that interesting? But it also feels like you guys are in your own world, you know, you and whoever this family unit is, whether this is your children or um, nieces, nephews, or wife, or husband, or boyfriend, whatever this is, or parents, right? Very cool. I mean, <laughs> I feel like water energy always comes up in Capricorn readings for some reason. But we also know that like water and earth go really well together, just like air and fire can. But um, anyway, Knight of Cups here. This is really, really beautiful. You know, ooh, horse and horse. Hello. -er. They keep bringing me back to this swing. You are stronger than you've ever been. And it's very cool, and it doesn't feel like in a position. It feels like I was born and made for this. Every struggle, every lesson, every time that I had to be strong in my life up to this point prepared me for this time to be here for you. And I love that. I love that. And I feel like you're here for yourself as well. Just I really feel this other, you know, energies that you're being really supportive of right now. And it's it's very cool. It's very cool. So Knight of Cups traditionally is engaging in activities that bring joy. It's a partnership that feels really equally footed and well-balanced, that is emotional in nature. But this is anything that really gives your heart chakra that sense of, you know, warm and fuzzy type deal. And it feels really, really good. And I'm really drawn to the fact of this stream and the desert and this, this horse that's standing still with one foot up. It does, remember what I said at the beginning about, it's like you've accrued this energy and now you're being asked to just like, be still and there's strength in the stillness. I'm really getting that here. I do feel, okay, I'm getting a very particular image 
of someone for an example, being there for the, for an example, you're being there for your significant other right now. Okay. In a, in a really, you know, uh, big way. And then at nighttime when your significant other is taken care of and in bed or in bed watching a nice, you know, uh, cuddly movie with some popcorn or something, then you go in the other room and you journal and you listen to music and that's your time. Does that make sense? So it's not that you're, you're not taking care of yourself, it's just you're finding a balance around it. It's, it's really, 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 really cool. And I do feel that the, the good you do always comes back to you, but it just feels really good. And you know what? It's, it feels very summery as well, interestingly enough. A warmth and pleasure and a slower pace. Queen of Pentacles. Look at you popping up in your own reading here as the fabulous Queen of Pentacles. So why I'm really obsessed with this is that the Queen of Pentacles is the queen in terms of she is the example on how to give and take in equal measure. She knows how to receive a compliment and she knows how to give one. You know, a lot of the times people are can be like great receivers right? And other times they're, they can be like, no, not, not the best receiver. I'm a great giver, right? She's both. And I love that this is coming up because remember what I just said about you being there for yourself, but also being there for others. But you, but I feel like you do it after you're there for the other person or there's a time in the day that you've set aside and it's, you're going into your, your, your lovely cocoon of comfort because you know that your people, your person is, is taken care of and settled. I'm also drawn to the roses here and that April showers bring May flowers and that at least where I live, the roses bloom right now in May. So I really, I really, really like this energy here. I'm also drawn to the rabbit here and the creative energy. I feel like you're a fear diffuser. That's interesting. Is that a thing? Fear diffuser? I feel like you're a fear diffuser. You're, you're diffusing the fear of those around you or your loved ones. It's like you are the constant source of reason and comfort. I mean, this is, this is, you know, Gaia. This is, this is mother nature. This is like, you know, the mama queen of pentacles is. She's generous and kind hearted and she loves animals and animals love her. And, you know, she lives here living her best life on an animal farm. You know, it's really beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. God, your energy feels very grounded and settled. It's, it's very nice. Ten of cups. Hi. Ooh, look at Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of this other deck too, just popping up out of your reading. Love it. So nine of pentacles here. Again, popping up with this earth energy. This is making all the sense in the world, darling. So traditionally the nine of pentacles is that independent energy of feeling really good about what you're doing and feeling like, you know, the work that you've done is in direct proportion to the work that you've put into it. You get out of it as much as you put into it is what I'm hearing, okay? And then we're going back to this 10 of cups here too. I do feel like this is coming in to say, again, this is that independent and strength energy, right? So I really do like that this is coming up for you here in terms of you're feeling very much in your earth sign element, which is very, 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 very fabulous, right? But this is, again, I feel this is also enacting that self-care in tandem with being there for those that you love and being that support system and backbone. Just feels, it feels really good. Hmm. Whoa, I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. Okay, I'm being drawn to this little snail. Can you see that? Oh, this little snail here. Remember when I said that it, it's about the, the stillness? There's something in that. I feel like there's a change in pace and energy here. There's a stillness. There's a slowness. It's like you're really embracing your earth sign self and feeling more grounded than ever during this time. It's really cool. It feels transformative, actually. Like, what else can I say? You just really feel like your element. So, Knight of Wands here. Horses, 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 horses. So, Knight of Wands, uh, this represents summer energy. Um, I really, really like this here, and I was already feeling summer vibage. Um, technically, the cups uh, represent, you know, with the Knight of Cups, they can represent summer aspects here as well, but the wands, the fire, that corresponds to um, summertime because of the element of fire and heat. So I really like how this is coming across here um, with this Knight of Wands to this Knight of Cups. I, again, this is like two of a kind, a pair, and again, this is fast forward movement and this is inner movement and stillness. So I do like the juxtaposition here and I feel like this is exactly what I was saying. How this is what's going on inside of you. You're building up that energy, building up that energy, building up that energy, 
right? Remember when I said that it was like you accrued all this energy and now you're being asked to just be still with that inner movement and stillness? I feel like this is exactly what this is saying. And I feel like there's a lot of creative energy that's bubbling up within and around you too. And it's, it's okay. Okay. I'm seeing someone who is like, um, tells stories or, or comes up with stories, right? And have you ever, okay, I'm hearing this really funny saying where someone will go, hey, have you written that, you know, article yet? Or that story yet? Or written your paper yet for class? And they go, well, I haven't written it down, but it's all up in my, it's all in my head. I feel like a lot is going to be coming to you. The, sl the more you allow yourself to slow down and be the earth sign that you are, I feel like these new ideas are rushing through of a creative or an emotional nature. It's like the growth is in the stillness, but on the inside, it's like leaps and bounds ahead, like just moving ahead. Isn't that great? It's kind of like, you know, another example that I can think of is the <laughs> pyramids weren't built in a day indeed. But but there's this element of, you know, when you're trying to figure something out, like let's say you're you're trying to create something or write something and you've hit a roadblock or you just can't, you have a block of some sort and then you get up and do the dishes and then boom, it hits you. It's kind of like that. It's like you're slowing down and it would appear that you're taking, you know, more time away from doing your work or more time away from doing what you normally do to be there for others or, or change it up a bit. But in doing so and in pivoting and redirecting, you're, you're getting a whole new influx of creative energy, ideas, directive, focus, and answered questions. I just heard this. You're getting a lot of questions. You're going to receive a lot of unexpected answers to your longstanding questions because you are looking the other way and focusing on other things. And that's how when the answers come, it's like a watch pot never boils. It's like you're looking to your left and then it comes up on your right. It's like that. Queen of Pentacles. Whoa. Queen of Pentacles still at the bottom. Hello, hello. Hi, three of Pentacles. I'm telling you, you guys are feeling real good for the month of May. Three of Pentacles, this is the artisan, this is the craftsman, this is the creator, the artist, right? This is about being compensated for what you in particular are good at. This is like, oh my God, like this Capricorn is really, really good at, at this one thing. Let's hire them for their expertise. Let's hire them for their, their eye, their artist's eye. That's what the tagline of this key is, the artist's eye, right? The artisan. So this is you being compensated for what you in particular are good at. There is a lot of finance and money around here, but I really feel like there's this, this energy of, again, by slowing down and grounding in and redirecting your focus to helping others and being there for others or just switching it up in that way, you, you are opening up this untapped faucet of new creative ideas and directives and, and answers to longstanding questions. And you're in a place to receive it. And I do feel like it has directly to do with what you in particular are good at. Whether you're an accountant and it's something to do with your work and numbers and the way that you approach the work and you find a quicker way to, you know, account things. I don't even know what the verb is for that. It's not my arena, but it's just an example. <laughs> okay, so it's like this this new breath of life that happens around what you in particular are good at. Particular are good at, yeah. I'm feeling actually a goddess for you guys. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, Capricorn. I like this so much. Feels right. Feels right and tight. Oh my God. Okay, this is really <laughs> loving it. There's readings, then there's this reading. <laughs> so, Aracura blossoming. You are just getting started, so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. Hello and goodbye. Blossoming indeed. Back to these roses. You're just getting started. Have patience. Remember, slow down to speed up, right? And really redirecting your focus on those who have most immediate need of you. It just feels like the right thing to do because you are finding time to do self-care, get that work done, and, and you're going to get this influx of new information. It's really cool. Okay, they're showing me something really specific. I'm just going to I'm just gonna go with that. There's this trope like, uh, like on the Hallmark movie channel. It's a very formulaic thing. It's kind of the same movie and over and over, but it's it's kind of like very comforting in that, where it's like this woman, you know, does a high, you know, has a like a high paced job in the city where she's really uber successful, but she has really little time for her family. 
um, pan to her little girl going, mommy, mommy, will you play with me? She's like, not now, sweetie, I have to work. Clickety clackety type, 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 beep, answer the phone, do, 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 all on the treadmill while the laundry's going, and that's her life. And then suddenly she finds out that she inherited some sort of country inn in the middle of nowhere from a long distant relative, and she has to go sort that out. And in doing so, she has to take time away from her busy life to go to this rural area and revamp this B&B &B business or whatever it is. And she finds that in slowing down, she rediscovers her true self. It's a homework trope, and it's, it's, it's like a bit, it's like very formulaic, but that's what they're showing to me. It's interesting. I love this. Um, Hathor, receptivity. Hi, we're talking about that. Look how she's mirroring the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, by the way, Hathor is the, um, the Egyptian equivalent of Aphrodite, a goddess of love and motherhood and being there for others, darling. And then also we have this Egyptian realness here as well, which is really, really cool. Um, allow yourself to receive. <laughs> this will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Oh my lord. Oh my lordy lord. I'm gonna say that one more time for the seats in the back. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. And I, I really feel like the key of this, what you're allowing yourself to receive is stillness and a slower pace and just being rooted into the earth, right? And allowing yourself to, it's gonna be really cheesy, but allowing yourself to receive the gift of being there for others <laughs> as well. And I just saw 2121 on the timer. This is really, really beautiful. It's, and again, there's a lot of water here as well. So a lot of emotional connections and relationships and it feels really good. It's really beautiful. It's a lot of love here, I can feel it. And again, you, I do feel like you're being someone's backbone. It's really beautiful. So my beautiful Capricorns, um, this is your month of May general reading. I so hope that this helped and resonated. This just gave me life to be quite honest with you. It felt like a, like a nice warm jacuzzi. Um, and with that being said, if I, you know, if this helped and resonated, please let me know in the comments below. I absolutely love reading your comments so much. Um, it just really gives me great joy to do so. And with that being said, thank you so much for being here. But more than anything, thank you for being you and be well until next time.